Welcome to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging algebraic equation today. x plus 1 times x plus 7 plus 16 over x plus 3 times x plus 5 equal to 0. We'll have to find out real solutions. So let's get started by considering domain. Denominator is not allowed to be 0. So x cannot be negative 3, cannot be negative 5 also. Now I will multiply this equation with x plus 3 times x plus 5. See what will happen once you will multiply x plus 1 times x plus 7 times x plus 3 times x plus 5 plus 16 equal to 0. Let's multiply these two brackets all together and these two all together. x times x, x square, x times 7, 7x, 1 times x, 1x, 7x plus 1x, 8x plus 7, 1 times 7 is 7. Now x times x, x square, x times 5, 5x, 3 times x, 3x, 5x plus 3x, 8x, plus 3 times 5, 15, plus 16 equal to 0. Now there are many ways from this point, see three ways, either you can consider x square plus 8x is equal to a. So let us consider that method, method number one that would be called or we can consider like this, see 7 is written. So I can write x square plus 8x, 7 I can write 11 minus 4 and this 15 I will write. 11 plus 4, 8x plus 11 plus 4. Without giving substitution, you can use this method also. So now you can see x square plus 8x plus 11, x square plus 8x plus 11, a plus b, a minus b. Right now, a minus b times a plus b. So difference of two squares. We used to write let me write here a minus b times a plus b. We know the formula it is a square minus b square. So in place of a it is x square plus 8x plus 11. Let us write x square plus 8x plus 11 whole square. This is a square. Now minus b square. In place of b it is 4. So I will write 4 square. This part is done. Now our 16, it would be as it is, plus 16 equal to 0. See, negative 4 is square, so it is minus 16, so I will cancel these two. What is left? That is one quartic equation, but whole square form, so we can take a square root. Let me write x square plus 8x plus 11, whole square is equal to 0 x square plus 8x plus 11 whole square equal to 0. Take a square root both sides x square plus 8x plus 11 equal to 0. This is one quadratic equation. So I will consider Sridharachar formula minus b. So minus 8 plus minus under the root b square. So I will write 64, 8 square is 64, minus 44, 4 times a c, a is 1, c is 11, divided by 2 a, so 2, equal to minus 8 plus minus, this is 64 minus 44, root 20, divided by 2, divide, I will write root 20 as 4, 2 root 5. So I can write minus 4 plus minus it is 2 root 5 and that 2 I will cancel with the denominator 2. So I will write root 5. So we have got two values and see we are solving a square root actually this whole square quartic. So multiplicity 2. Multiplicity 2 and there is no restriction on domain. Domain was x is not allowed minus 3 and minus 5. So if you will see 
this value is 2.23 and if you will add or subtract minus 4 to this value you will get two answers one value is negative 1.77 and second value is approximate value it is minus 6.23 so we will accept both the values now i will use substitution method let me write method 2 if you okay substitution our original equation was x square plus 8x plus 7 times this is our step 3 times x square plus 8x plus 15 plus 16 equal to 0. Now I will use substitution which is straight away clear let x square plus 8x equal to a. So equation will become a plus 7 times a plus 15 plus 16 equal to 0. Multiply a times a, a square, a times 15, 15 a, 7 times a, 7 a, so 22 a, 15 plus 7 is 22 plus 15 times 7, 105 plus 16 equal to 0, a square plus 22 a plus 1 to 1 equal to 0 and see if I will write in that form a square times 2 into 11 into a plus 11 a square. It is looking like one identity a square plus 2ab plus b square. So I will write directly a plus 11 whole square it is equal to 0. Same way once you are taking substitution also equation is coming out same with substitution only. You can see once I will put a is equal to x square plus 8x. So this equation and the method number 1 equation that would that will match. So let us solve this equation. Remember a is 8 square x square plus 8x. a plus 11 whole square equal to 0. And let me write here a value x square plus 8x. Take a square root of both sides. I will write a plus 11 equal to 0. So a is equal to minus 11. What is a? a is same x square plus 8x equal to negative 11. So equation becomes x square plus 8x plus 11 equal to 0. It is same identical equation. So I am not going to solve this. I will straight away write because we have solved already in method 1. Minus 4 plus minus root 5 with multiplicity 2. Both values are negative. I hope this video will be somewhere helpful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.